Hello everyone. A satellite image here of Yeysk Air Base. If that name rings a bell, it's because it was the same air base where the Su-34 that crashed into a building took off from. This satellite image was shared online, but is from October the 6th, before the crash. But I thought it worth taking a look at. Now, this is just a small section of a base, so there could be other aircraft elsewhere. But on this section we can see some unusual and rare aircraft here, so it's definitely worth a look to see what's there. So top left there are a pair of two 134s. You may notice the distinct black paint scheme. These are likely the Black Pearl variant, which are used for training bomber pilots for the 222M and the 2160 bombers. It's a surprise to see these here, on a base to war zone. I would have thought training aircraft would be further afield. Perhaps they're now serving a dual purpose as a troop transport too. Just below the 2134, we have another unusual aircraft, the An-72. This is notable for its very large engines, so it's been nicknamed Shibarashka, after a cartoon monkey in Russia which had large ears too. These are used as transport aircraft. At the bottom we have a bog standard An-26, a common transport aircraft used in Russia and often seen in and around air bases which are used during the war. It's next to five Su-34s. Here's an image of an An-26. It's a twin-engined, rugged transport plane from the 1970s. Before we go back to the satellite image, here's the Su-34, a modern fighter bomber which entered service in 2014. Russia has lost 17 of these so far according to Oryx, out of 140 in service. At the top, another rare and unusual aircraft, the B-200, next to a row of Su-34s. Now this is a cool plane. It's an amphibious utility aircraft that can land on runways or on water. It's used for transport, search and rescue and firefighting duties. And there's also a maritime patrol variant being developed. Again, a surprise to see this here. I expect it may have been used as a transport of troops to the region. Now, now next to it, we can see five more Su-34s, ten in total. One, however, since then has been lost, crashing into a building. So we can scratch one and make it nine. On the right-hand side, we have another An-26, and then another rare aircraft we don't see much of, the Il-38N. This is a piston-engined maritime patrol aircraft. The N variant has improved search and tracking systems, allowing it to track 32 surface objects at a range of 300 kilometers. Finally, the entrance of some aircraft on display, an inactive Il-18 and a pair of inactive 2134s. Before we finish, here's Yeysk Airport's location. So it's 135 kilometers from the front lines, across the sea from Mariupol. The aircraft here provide cover for the southern and eastern fronts, and also possibly maritime patrol duties, given we've seen the maritime patrol aircraft here. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If so, I'd appreciate it if you could click like and subscribe. That'd be great. Thanks again and take care, everybody.